This is going to be an energy reading for Gemini. If you are a gem, this energy reading is going to be for you, beloved. All right. We're going to dive straight in. I ask my higher self, the most high and the ascended masses to help me in this intuitive reading. Okay. I see lioness and on the top of the deck, we have predator. Okay. Y'all going to have somebody who's a predator in your energy. This is someone who's preying on you. Okay. This could be someone who's lying to you as well. So let's see. For Gemini, what does Gems need to know? We have Libra. Lion ass came out. I told y'all I seen lion ass. Liar. <laughs> okay, this could be a Libra that's preying on y'all. This is a predator. Okay, I just heard narc. So for some, this could be someone very narcissistic. I also see Aries. Whoever this is, they're for the streets. Okay, somebody's receiving karma. So let's see. For Jim, what does Gemini's need to know? We have go hug a tree, go out in nature. You may need to ground yourself. One, one, one energy is significant. Taurus energy is significant. Okay, go ground yourself. All right, Gemini's. Go hug a tree. Mother Nature will transmute any negative or ill will energy that does not serve your highest good. Okay, and she will use that to make something positive. So let's see for Gemini. What does Gems need to know? We have Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy can be significant. We already have Taurus out here. You're down to earth. You're down to earth to, to, to uh, there's an earth sign who feels like you're down to earth. Okay, we have I don't recall. There's someone trying to act like they don't recall when it comes to something. Okay. Let's see. For gems, what does Gemini's need to know, spirit? Get you some cereal, baby. We have keep close watch. Okay. Y'all, someone could be being strategic, keeping close watch on you. This is someone who wants to prey on you. Okay, this is a predator. Let's see. For Gemini spirit, I just seen Capricorn. Capricorn energy can be significant. We have, we're not on the same page. This is someone who you're not meeting eye to eye with. Okay, a snake in the grass also came out. This could be a snake. All right, you need to cut your grass. All right, we also have, you ain't no friend of mine. You also could have someone in your energy who is not your friend. They're a fake ass friend. Okay, Jim, y'all not seeing eye to eye. This could be someone who keeps close watch on you, trying to act like they don't recall to why y'all don't see eye to eye. But you know, you know why y'all don't see eye to eye. Hold on. All right, Jims, I stopped the timer at 3.06. Okay, so that's gonna be significant. Somebody wants to see you in private. Okay, but I'd be mindful because this could be someone who has whole tendencies. Okay, they just want to get you in the bed. We have get to know the real me. Someone wants to wants you to get to know the real them. Okay. Then you have someone who just plays a role. Someone plays a role. This is a snake. Okay. This is someone who's keeping close watch on you. Y'all could have had some type of falling out or some of the sort. Because this person is trying to act like they don't recall something that has happened where y'all ain't seeing eye to eye. Okay. They could have snaked you in some type of way. Okay, this is someone who's been preying on you. It's a predator, okay? You're not my cup of tea. Whoever this is, you know this person ain't your cup of tea, Gems. You know this person ain't a cup, your cup of tea. This is someone who just play a role. They might want to see you in private. They just want to get you in bed, okay? And be mindful of that because there could be a reason to why they want to do that, okay? We have commitment issues. Someone could also have commitment issues. I heard non-committal. Okay, so someone could be a cheater. Let's see. For Gems. We have closed-minded. Whoever this is, they're very closed-minded. You may want a mutual understanding with this person. It could be you. Maybe you want somebody to get to know the real you. They, you want somebody to see you for who you are. But this is someone who might be trying to misunderstand you intentionally. Because this is someone who's closed-minded. A snake. Someone with commitment issues. Non-committal. You know y'all ain't... You know this person is not your cup of tea. You know for gems, Virgo energy is significant. Closed minded came out twice. How? What's the odds of that coming out twice? You can have two individuals in your energy who are very closed minded. One can be a friend, one can be a lover. 
Okay, because we had you ain't no friend of mine. One could be a friend, one could be a lover. Okay, this is a closed minded individual. You could be going through a mind expansion, a crown expansion. Okay, again, Virgo energy is significant. Heavy earth signs. You have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn out here. Libra energy is out here. Okay, on the top of the deck, integrity. Someone could be learning a, um, a lesson when it comes to integrity. Okay, learning to raise their standards. We have humility. Someone also could be um, learning a lesson about humility. Somebody could be getting humbled. Okay, we have twin flame. This could be a karmic twin flame for some of y'all. This could be someone you live with, are married to, connected to. Okay, we have social media. Social media is significant. Okay, I seen Facebook before I shuffle, so Facebook could be significant, but I feel like this is somebody who's watching your social medias. This is someone who wants to see you in person, but in private. Five, five, five. I don't know, y'all. We got scary ass here. This could be somebody who is scary. Okay, this person may even want to fight you. Okay, I feel like because I'm seeing the five of wands, Leo energy in my mind's eye. If this person wants to fight you, I feel like it's because this is someone who this person has put you in competition with or put them in competition with you. Could be a friend of y'all sneak linking or linking up with your, your mate, y'all. So be mindful of that. Okay, my love is conditional, it's right here. Somebody's love is conditional. They have conditions to for you to be loving on them, okay? And then we have consistent. Somebody has been doing something um, repetitively. Someone likes consistency. Then they're not receiving the consistency that they need. Okay, gems. I don't know what this is. At the bottom of the deck, we got the devil card. Capricorn energy. Someone's bound to toxicity. This could be somebody who's materialistic, obsessive, possessive, operates out of their shadow self. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody y'all live with. This is a karmic twin flame. I cannot make this up, y'all. Oh! <laughs> karmic twin flame came out. This could be someone you're married to and union with that you live with. Okay, you're closing out a cycle with this individual with the world card, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. That's fixed sign energy. Okay. Someone's karmic twin flame could also watch another online. Travel is significant. So let's see, for Gemini, what does Jim need to know? You guys have the queen of wands in reverse. Aries Leo says, this is someone who's very aggressive, demanding, dramatic, deceitful. This is someone who operates out of self doubt. They doubt themselves, they can have an inflated ego. Okay, with well, the two of pinnacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, this could be someone that someone is uh, juggling you with. They could be creating chaos because this is someone that this person wants balance with. Let's see, we have the queen of pinnacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be a baby's mother, mother figure, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, y'all. Someone could have been juggling at least two other feminines. Okay, let's see. One of these feminines is really smart, intelligent, honest, generous, charming, protective. Okay, we have the seven of wands here, Leo energy. They could have definitely put these individuals in competition with each other. Okay, someone could also have someone blocked because they're feeling defensive towards someone who put them in some type of competition that they were juggling with. Yeah, this is a cycle that's going, this, this is a cycle that's getting closed out. Someone's protecting their energy. This is someone who's recognizing that they were very nurturing, caring, and loving to someone who was juggling them with somebody who is very deceitful. We have the Knight of Cups here. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, Gemini, I feel like this is the person that you or this other person has romantic feelings for. This could have been someone you were dating or someone that this person was dating. Okay, someone could have been romanticizing a situation. We have the Tower card. Somebody, somebody's gonna get a, a reality check about this, about somebody juggling them in a relationship. Gemini. 
That's fine. Somebody was juggling in a relationship. This could have been what created chaos or instability in a connection. I'm seeing some type of upheaval too, where somebody's going to be faced with some adversity, but it's going to help them to get a reality check about a relationship where they're being juggled, where there could be a lot of chaos. Okay. We have the page of cups here. You could be receiving signs and synchronicities about this. About someone that you may need to block. This could be someone who's trying to cause towers in your life, create chaos in your life. Because this is someone who doubts themselves. This is someone who's jealous of you. If y'all are both sleeping with this person, you're going to feel this other person's energy. I'm getting that too. Someone may be trying to block you from seeing the signs, receiving the signs, or reflecting, or trusting your intuition when it comes to them juggling. For Gemini, we have the Justice card in reverse. Libra energy. Someone could have also been making false accusations, creating an injustice. This could be somebody dealing with court issues. Someone could have been in jail, have to go to court. This is somebody who's irresponsible and dishonest. You need to block this individual. Okay, if you haven't already closed out this cycle and blocked this individual. Okay, for Gemini, we have the Empress here. For some, y'all, this is someone who still has romantic feelings for their baby mama. Their baby mama could be in a relationship with somebody else or had a kid with somebody else. This could have been a reality check for somebody. They could feel chaotic because they could still have romantic feelings for a baby mother who could have gotten pregnant by someone else. They could have just recently had a child that they're nurturing and caring for. Okay, we have the magician card. I'm also seeing this person trying to manifest either this baby mama back or manifest someone else back this is why it's creating an imbalancement between you two you you two's con connection okay someone got a water sign child pisces cancer scorpio okay someone could have blocked someone because <clears throat> They had, or this could be a love child. Someone manifested a love child with an empress and then created some type of chaos in the relationship because they were jealous, possibly of the empress or just dealing with somebody who was jealous of the empress. Okay, let's see. Whoever this is, they're trying to manifest an apology, but they could be blocked. They could maybe want to apologize to someone who's nurturing, caring, honest. This could be someone who created an imbalance man in a relationship. Okay. We have the four of cups. Cancer energy. This baby can be a cancer. I'm also seeing Virgo and Gemini here. Someone's contemplating rejecting someone possibly because or someone could be rejecting a child. Being unfair, someone may need to take someone to court. This Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could have had a love child with somebody, manifested a love child with this person. They could be contemplating on rejecting someone who they've been receiving signs and synchronicities about when it comes to blocking them. This is someone who's being unfair, creating injustice. Someone may be taking someone to court when it comes to a child because they've been rejecting a child. This could be someone who is skeptical about a child being theirs. For some, this is someone who, out of boredom, went and slept with somebody else, ended up ha and having a child. They was just bored, so they went to go sleep with somebody, started a lighthearted conversation, talking to this person. Okay, let's see, for Gemini, we have the sun card, Leo energy. This is being exposed, illuminated. Someone is choosing peace and positivity. Probably, most likely, this empress. Someone's manifesting a peaceful, happy life. And they're receiving signs and synchronicities about possibly someone that they need to block or reject. That This could be someone they've been contemplating or rejecting. But they're going to realize that this is someone who's been unfair to them. This is someone who's irresponsible, dishonest. Someone could be being dishonest about a child. 
Someone could have been feeling rejected because someone had a child with someone else. I'm getting that too. Someone felt rejected because someone felt some type of way about someone else, possibly a baby's mother or mother figure, somebody nurturing, caring, and empress energy, had a child with someone else. They could have started making false accusations about this person, but this is an empress who's peaceful. But I'm also seeing this person, I'm seeing three people, y'all. You could be the empress. Okay, you could be having a tower moment, a reality check about possibly a masculine or another feminine. But this masculine can be juggling you with two other feminines that they that they have romantic feelings for. Could be a Queen of Wands, an Aries Leo Sag, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, and then you Gemini. And I really feel like this is you Gemini because next to the Queen of Pentacles is the Magician card, which is Gemini energy. There's going to be something illuminated, exposed to you in a tower moment. You're going to receive a reality check about somebody who's been causing chaos and balancements in your life. And that's because they've been juggling you with people that they still have romantic feelings for. For some, they can still be in a relationship with one or two of these people. One of these people they could have had a child with. Or this other person could be in a relationship with someone else and got pregnant by somebody else. And they in their feelings about their baby mama getting pregnant by somebody else. Let's see. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or somebody who you look at as stable, reliable, someone of good character, intelligent. Could be a provider. They could be rejecting a child or they could be getting rejected when it comes to some type of court case. Or someone may feel rejected when it comes to a court case. Someone may find out a child isn't theirs. Or they may. I don't know. Something's going to be exposed, though. Let's see. We have the Six of Pentacles. This could be someone who was given to somebody who was pregnant. Somebody was given to somebody who was pregnant. This is somebody who they were in a relationship with or they had romantic feelings for. This could be a baby mama, mother figure that they were juggling you with. And they're having a tower moment because whoever this is could feel rejected because they may find out that the child is whoever this child is. It ain't theirs. I don't know if they have kids. They could have a kid. Maybe they got back with this person. They ended up pregnant again. I don't know. And they thought that this child would be theirs too, but it's not. Whoever this is, they're saying that they want to be fair to you. But there's something that's being exposed to you, Empress, about a relationship you're in, a union, somebody you live with who has romantic feelings for somebody else that they possibly still having sex with. That's what the chaos is. You could be feeling these people's energies as you're trying to manifest. You're trying to manifest peace, happiness, fun. Like you're lighthearted. You come off lighthearted, sweet, gentle. This person could have made you feel rejected because they were out here giving other people. Could be a baby's mama. Could be a friend of y'all's too. Even a friend. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay. Or someone that you considered as a friend or some of the sort. This person is manifesting a tower. Like whatever they doing, it's about to create some chaos. Somebody's about to face some adversity, but it's to give somebody a reality check about someone being possibly non-committal. This is someone with commitment issues. They non-committal. They not committing to you. There's three feminines here, y'all. There's three feminines and a baby. They could have tried to put a baby in all of y'all. <laughs> somebody out here just spreading seeds. Lying about it. Okay. Gemini, this could be a Leo. They also could be given to their mom. Like, they could have a mother who who is okay with them juggling you. This could be a mother that they they pay. They give their mama. They, if they give their mom money, their mama take care of them. I mean, they, they take care of their mama because it's giving me mama boy, too. Somebody could be taking care of their mama. And they mama know that they got multiple people that they have relationships with. They could be having these different females come and meet their mama. Okay. That's weird. But sometimes people do that. Okay. And we had pray. That was the first one out. Somebody's praying on you in a commitment. This is someone with commitment or they're giving you commitment issues, trust issues. They could be giving you trust issues because this person has commitment issues. They don't know how to commit. They're non-committal. 
they still romanticize and being with their baby mama. Somebody who was envious and jealous of you. Okay. That they've been juggling with a queen of pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Whoever this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be receiving signs and synchronicities about this person who made them feel rejected. A king of pentacles that was very given to them. They could have been given to them, taking them out, doing all type of shit. They getting exposed. Whoever this is, could be a Virgo, a Taurus, who is exposing someone who juggled them. There could have been some type of reality check when it comes to a relationship and a child too. There could have been a child that got rejected or a child may feel rejected by someone, by their father. Or if someone wants to give to their child, this father could feel rejected because they maybe want to be a better parent. Someone may want to be a better parent. Someone could have been making false accusations about someone being a bad parent. I hope not to this child. I'm really hoping that they weren't making false accusations to this child about their parent. I don't like that. Okay. But something is definitely closing out, especially when it comes to some type of injustice. Somebody wasn't being fair. This was someone who was creating a lot of blockages for you, creating challenges for you. Upheavals, possibly. Arguments, fights. Somebody very toxic. We started off with that... Uh. That Capricorn energy, the devil card. This is someone who's bound to toxicity, the devil. Low vibrational energy. This person could do drugs. Somebody could do drugs. This could be getting exposed or illuminated about somebody that somebody's in a relationship with. If this is whoever this is, that aggressive person who has self-doubt or whatever, they could take drugs to feel happy. This could be getting illuminated to someone. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we got the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, this is an Earth Angel, Sagittarius energy. And with the Five of Swords here, Aquarius energy, someone was trying to play mind games with this individual. Whoever this is, they're releasing, they're walking away. Pisces energy to make change. This is someone who is choosing another path. Okay, when it comes to somebody who lied to them, someone was lying, being deceitful. This is someone who's a trickster with low self-esteem. Okay, they're selfish as well. This is someone who had unrealistic plans when it came to their future or they procrastinated a, not, a lot when it came to a future. They could have been lying about seeing a future with someone. Okay, had someone feeling left out in the cold. With the Five of Pentacles here, Taurus energy. Someone also could be dealing with some hardships, some financial hardships, poverty, financially setback, um, lacking of resources. Somebody could be, could have been clout hungry, chasing, um, chasing money. Somebody was cloud honey, ch hungry, chasing money. That's what I'm seeing too. This person was crying to cause delays. Had somebody fear and doubt a connection. Someone could have intentionally ignored someone when they wanted their attention, had them feeling left out in the cold. Somebody's gonna change perspective about this with the hangman card. Pisces cancer energy. This was someone who's been waiting on, somebody was waiting on somebody who was creating delays and ignoring them intentionally to have someone feel left out in the cold. This is somebody who's a liar. This is somebody who's a liar and plays mind games with the death card, Scorpio energy. This is coming to an end. Someone's changing. They're going through a transformation. Okay, they're making a the necessary change to um, move forward. And this person could also be, you know, learning that there's some things that they need to, like a sacrifice that they need to make in order to make this change. Okay. A queen of swords. This could be you, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, going through an ego death, getting a change perspective, possibly about someone who you have commitment issues with. This could be someone who's non-committal. For some, this is somebody younger than you with the page of swords. I'm also seeing someone watching tarot readers or uh, tarot readers, tarot, or they could be a tarot reader. Okay, something is getting laid to rest as well. Someone could be on house arrest. And remember I told y'all, somebody went to jail. Somebody could be on house arrest. Okay, this is someone who's unhappy. 
or they're learning to find fulfillment within themselves. This King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is someone who's nostalgic. Okay. When it comes to their past or someone in their past that they love. Could be a Capricorn with a devil card. Okay. Or this is a karmic lover. A karmic lover. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <clears throat> Somebody could be obsessive over somebody that they love. They could be obsessed over someone who they love, okay? With the Six of Swords, though, I see you moving on from this person, transitioning, moving forward. You could be deep thinking on rejecting somebody who was possibly very given to you, but I, 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 they, it's given, they given to more than just two, okay? Somebody's going to receive some bad news when it comes to jail, I told y'all, something about jail is significant. Someone might end up in jail, or this is spiritual jail. Someone's overthinking in their head, held in captivity, held in captivity when it comes to their thoughts. Could have a lot. It could be can be get it up. This person could be getting consumed with a lot of doubts and fears about a betrayal. Gemini energy. This could have been somebody happy on the Gemini. For some, it could be another Gemini who was talking a lot of shit about you, stabbing you in the back, wanting you to feel hopeless and ruined. For some, somebody could have made false accusations in court trying to ruin you. Have you go get locked up? This was an illusion that somebody was trying to create. Somebody else could be a drunk. They lay up all night just drunk, stressed. Y'all don't like that energy. Okay, but this is a lesson. Somebody's about to learn a lesson. Okay. I also feel like whoever this is, I don't know. They're manifesting the Empress energy. They are, they are. They're manifesting an Empress energy. Okay, they could be manifesting you, but use your discernment, Gemini. Because there's somebody jealous and envious of you that this person was juggling you with. Could be a friend for some of y'all, because we had, you ain't no friend of mine. This ain't your friend. They a snake. You could even have commitment issues because somebody involved you and a friend in a connection. Okay. Somebody could also be um, jealous of you wanting to fight you, but they scared. And the reason to why they scared is because I feel like you're a strong individual. You're confident. Okay? And they know damn well it ain't your fault. If this is somebody who's trying to blame the other person, it's not their fault. It's the person who's trying to put y'all in competition. You can't be sitting there looking at somebody as competition or somebody's putting you in competition. This is somebody who had multiple lovers. You're not supposed to get mad at the other person. Get mad at that nigga who put you in competition. But that is the energy reading for Gemini's.